Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahawa Shai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahawa Shai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahawa Shai. O praise unto Yahabashi Masha, Bashi Makakadash, double honors on three apostles of great millstone, and honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to entitle this video um, something very, very close to the um, um, wording um, the value of life to the Creator or to the Most High, something to that effect. And uh, pretty much um, the, the purpose of this video is to uh, show you that to the Creator, right, to the Most High, and um, the, the, the um, hurricane out there to the, in the Bahamas is an example of this. But to the most high, um, you know, um, even even Jake, right, save the elect, there's going to be a hell of a lot of Jakes and a hell of a lot of Israelites that's going to be destroyed, all right? And you can feel some type of way about that, but the most high has got a very different perception to, to the value of life as we down here uh, have. And I take the inspiration of this video from um, uh, one of the uh, uh, elders of the Dallas camp. And he had um, mentioned, he had made a point that when you can create, um, when you create, um, when you can create money, um, burning one million, one million uh, uh, pounds or dollars, is insignificant. And the very same thing is, um, is, 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 is the same, very same thing is, is, the, is, is the same with the Mosai, in that the heavenly Father, he created life. Okay, he's the one who created. Um, He's the one that's created the um, the heavens, the earth, right, and all the um, the different things that are within the earth, and um, pretty much the heavenly Father could do with it what He wants to do with it, all right. But not only that, the heavenly Father, uh, um, if he if he sees fit that the creation has uh, gone too far astray from how well, basically you find out that there is no uh, uh, free will within the scriptures, so. He'd already designed it from the foundations of the earth that the creation goes uh, away from uh, its purpose and ultimately it was going to be brought back onto its purpose when the, uh, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are established as a, as a, as a um, ruling class within the earth. So this is the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter and the 58th verse. It says, Behold, the nations are just a drop of a bucket. Now this is dealing with the heathen nations, right? Moab, Ammon, Ishmael, etc., 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 Right, with the exception of the 12 tribes of Israel. So when you see uh, situations like the tsunami that happened out there um, in the east, and the Mosai wiped up all kind of all kind of people, now the first thing you might ask yourself is why would the why would a loving God uh, do this? Well, guess what? The Mosai created life. So for him to lose to, to, to create a situation where life's gonna be lost, well, it doesn't matter. He created it in the first place. And 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 the most I pretty much told Ezra a very similar thing. I was gonna jump on that on, onto that point a little bit later on, but I guess I could touch on it now. All right, and that's dealing with the twelve tribes of Israel. Here it is: the most I created the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the twelve tribes of Israel, his most favored people upon the face of the earth. But what person can say within the earth that they love the creation more than the Creator Himself? Here it is: it's the most I. He created that creation. It's His creation. You can't love that creation more than the creator of that creation. It doesn't work like that. All right? The most I created, he sought to be destroyed and wiped off the face of the earth. There's nothing you could do all right, to, um, to, uh, to, to, to change that. The most I created, he sought to be on the earth to rule for a certain period of time and it was going to be destroyed and wiped off the face of the earth. There's nothing you could do to change that. That's point number one. Point number two, the most I set it up to where uh, the Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans was going to go off. And you have situations play out like 70 AD where a lot of Israelites were wiped, 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 wiped off the face of the earth. Um, what else? The transatlantic slave trade. You had a lot of Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that died as a result of that. Uh, the systematic enslavement uh, by way of Esau, the Red Hebrew Edomite, who um, puts uh, laws in place for the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, one, to kill each other. And number two, to um, basically... Um, to be killed, whether it's be whether it's it be through a biological warfare, whether it be through any kind of thing that Esau set up to to to, to destroy us, well, the Mosai 
gave him that power because the, the creation is, is subject unto the creator and nobody can love the, the creation more than the creator, but then the, the creator can, more, can create more. So the, the value of it is very, is very small. All right, we're like answer them to, to the most. The scripture says that the, the Jacob that weren't, but the, the nations of the earth are even more insignificant than the Israelites themselves are. Of which you're gonna find out as we're gonna read within the precept that I'm gonna get within the book of Zechariah, the 13th chapter, and the 8th verse. You're gonna find out even of the chosen nation, the most is gonna get rid of a, a, a large majority of them during the um time of Jacob's trouble, which is also known as martial law, that's gonna come upon all the world as a result of the so-called New World Order or attempt. So the book of Isaiah 14 and 15, it says, The nations are as a drop of a bucket. They are counted as a small dust of a balance. Uh, behold, he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. So you, the Moabites are insignificant. I mean, insignificant Ishmael, all of that is insignificant. But guess what? We're counted as the more size favored nation within the earth. But even us, we're like an unto the insignificant. As I had quoted a little bit earlier on, the man Ezra, he said, Lord, hold on a minute. Lord, why are you roughly paraphrasing? He, he, he got sick to his stomach because he, he saw how much uh, Jake was going to be destroyed in the times that we're getting into, like, like the situation that played out there in the Bahamas, like the situation that's going to play out here during the time of Jacob's trouble, like the situation that's going to play out during the World War III when a lot of people are going to die by way of the Heavenly Father's um, judgment. And, and the man Ezra saw all of the all of these things, and and he was he said, look, Lord, why, you know, how come, you know, roughly paraphrasing, how come? And the heavenly Father responded. He said, look, you can't, you're gonna be, are you able to love the creation more than the Creator? And that's a very important thing to understand when you come in into this word that it is impossible for you to love the creation more than the Creator Himself. But the Creator can create more. All right, here it is, uh, two-thirds of the Israelites, the Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans are going to be destroyed. But guess what? The Heavenly Father is going to create even more of the 12 tribes of Israel. But the, the beautiful thing that's going to happen is that this time around, the Lord, the Heavenly Father is going to create them righteous. Now, we're into this in the camp um, I'm up, uh, I'm up, uh, with the videos I uploaded this week. You'll be able to see the videos. But I touched on these, this, this topic where um, we're getting into the understanding that what? The Heavenly Father... All right, they are um all right, they set up a situation where um they set up a situation where um we're gonna get the new uh, a new mind and a new heart and we're gonna do right before the heavenly father, right? Forever and ever and ever, man. Right? And it shall come to pass in that all the land thereof say if the love two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third, but the third shall be left therein. And um, this is dealing with the, 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 the Zechariah 13 and 8, by the way. This is dealing with uh, two-thirds of Jake being uh, totally wiped off the face of the earth during the time of um, uh, martial law. And that's going to be a, 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 a heavy day, man. It's going to be a heavy day, but guess what? The Lord's going to create more of these Israelites. It's going to be destroyed, man. And they're going to be born off the elect, of which I hope I'm off, off the elect. But off the elect, they're going to be born children, and those are going to be the children save that they're going to be in their right mind, they're going to be the people that are going to die on this side. And it's my belief that the Lord's going to create even more spirits. All right. And it says, and now, because the scripture says, how the Lord's going to increase the earth, uh, roughly paraphrasing. And I'll bring the third part through the fire, which is the adversity that the elect are going through right now. And as, and I'll refine them as silver is refined and I'll try them as gold is tried. And I shall call them, uh, and I shall call on, and they shall call on my name, and I'll hear them, and I'll say to this people, and they shall say, and they shall, and, and I'll say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is our power. So, I mean, that speaks, you know, the, the, the precept speaks for themselves, man. All right? The, 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 the nations are disposable. The 12 tribes of Israel are disposable. I believe it is even said that the 12, the most I could raise up the very stones to be Israelites. So, get, hey, man. There you have it. So with that, I must say, all praises unto the Abba Shimei, Shai Abba Shimei, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles of great millstone, honesty brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.